the Ukrainian army is fighting, attacking and destroying Russian equipment with drones, javelins and HIMARS, and a Russian sniper hit a Ukrainian defender, but he continued to move. Fighting continues in the village of Klishchivka in the Bakhmut sector. Over 80% of the village remains under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces. To the south of the village, the occupants are holding the defense near the railroad. In the Svartov sector, near Novoyahorivka, a heavy battle for height 190.8 is taking place. Here, rangers from the 68th Brigade and soldiers from the 43rd Brigade burned two tanks today. The Katsaps are using a tank fist, which is gradually shrinking. And here is more complete footage of an unsuccessful enemy attack near the Kolsnitschki River east of Novoyahorivka. The convoy consisted of five tanks. The first tank turned off before Kovalivka, and the last one fled. There were enemy infantry on board, but only two of the five tanks reached the landing site. While leaving, one of them was hit by a javelin. It is the one that is on fire in the video. Near Novoyahorivka, the rangers also hit a Russian infantry fighting vehicle. In the Berdyant direction, in the village of Novodonetsky, the occupants also went on the defense. Positional fighting is taking place in the village of Novomayorsky, between the villages of Pavlivka and Shivchenko. In the Tokmak sector, fighting also continues southwest of Rabatine. Here, fighting is taking place for key strongholds to Novo Prokopivka. In this area, Ukrainians used a Kamikaze FPV drone to destroy a Russian T-90M tank in Ilchenko village and a BMD-4M in the Rabatino Novo Prokopivka area. In addition, with the help of HIMARS, the Special Operations Forces destroyed a Vika guided missile depot for a Ka-52 attack helicopter. A Ukrainian fighter, while on the front line, driving a car, was caught in the sights of a Russian sniper. The bullet pierced the windshield, but was stopped by a high-quality bulletproof vest. The soldier not only survived the hit, but also continued to drive, leaving the area of fire.